For years, China's leadership in the rare earth metals manufacturing sector has been a source of concern for various global industries, particularly the rapidly growing electric vehicle EV, sector. These minerals are crucial for crafting batteries and high-tech components in these vehicles. Recent shifts in Chinese export regulations have heightened these concerns, raising fears that China's dominance could hinder the progress and viability of the electric automotive industry. In this discussion, we will explore how the new Chinese embargo could impact the global electric car landscape, highlighting the significant challenges for the expansion and eco-efficiency of these vehicles, and underscoring the critical dependency on resources controlled by China. Essential Metals for Electric Cars Understanding why rare earth metals are indispensable for the electric vehicle industry is crucial. This group of 17 chemical elements is vital in manufacturing essential components for these vehicles including magnets and motors that power the vehicles. Additionally, elements like lithium, cobalt, and nickel are key components of lithium-ion batteries, responsible for storing and delivering energy. The global shift towards electric vehicles, driven by environmental concerns and governmental regulations aimed at reducing harmful emissions, has led the automotive sector to invest heavily in electric vehicle technology. Leading brands such as Tesla, Volkswagen, and Nissan are pioneers in this market. However, the growing demand for rare earth metals has made the sector highly dependent on a single source, China. For decades, China has positioned itself as a near monopolist in the production of these metals, holding about 35% of the world's known reserves and contributing to over 80% of global production. This dominance has given China substantial influence over global supply chains, an influence that has been wielded for political and economic reasons in the past. The most notable instance occurred in 2010 when China restricted the export of these metals, causing a drastic increase in prices and a global shortage. Although China later lifted these restrictions, the episode exposed the critical dependency of various industries. Recently, a new Chinese embargo on the export of these metals reignited concerns in the electric vehicle sector. The embargo aims to limit the export of certain metals, establishing quotas and stricter rules. While China cites environmental reasons and resource protection as justifications, many suspect underlying geopolitical intentions. The impact of this embargo is already being felt in the global automotive sector, with the scarcity of these metals driving up the production costs of electric vehicles. Smaller manufacturers and newcomers to the market are particularly affected, as they lack the economies of scale of larger companies. This cost increase could lead to production delays and a shortage of vehicles in the market, with higher prices eventually being passed on to consumers. This could deter potential buyers and slow the growth of the electric vehicle industry, as the market is highly competitive and sensitive to price changes. Challenges of Rare Metals China's decision to restrict the exports of rare earth metals is concerning not only because of the immediate effect on manufacturers but also due to its profound implications for the global electric car ecosystem. The supply chain for these vehicles is complex, with parts coming from various parts of the globe. A halt in the delivery of these metals could cause a domino effect. This affects not just automakers but also battery producers, electronics manufacturers, and other key players in the sector. A primary concern is the production of lithium-ion batteries, which are vital for electric cars. Any shortage or price increase of these metals could seriously impact battery manufacturers. Major companies like Panasonic, LG, and CATL, which supply significant automakers, may need to seek alternatives. This would increase research and development costs, potentially delaying advancements in battery technology. Thus, progress towards cheaper and more autonomous electric cars could be hindered. China's restriction also raises concerns beyond economics, touching on geopolitical issues. The transition to electric cars is crucial for reducing pollutant gas emissions and combating climate change. However, China's dominance in the market for these metals gives it significant power over this shift. There is a fear that China could use this control to influence other nations or advance its strategic interests. This could give China a competitive advantage in the electric car market, affecting the global balance of power in this industry. 
In light of China's export restrictions, there is an urgent need for countries and companies to diversify their supply sources and reduce dependence on Chinese metals. Seeking alternative sources of these critical materials is one response. Countries like Australia, the United States, and Canada, with large deposits of these metals, are investing in domestic production. This diversification strategy is crucial for making the electric vehicle industry's supply chain more resilient and sustainable. New sustainable strategies won new strategy under consideration to mitigate the effect of China's export embargo involves advancing recycling technologies for rare earth metals. A large portion of these metals ends up as electronic waste, posing environmental risks and resulting in the loss of valuable resources. Efforts are underway to improve recycling methods, aiming to extract and reuse rare earth metals found in discarded electronic devices and batteries. This initiative not only reduces the need for new mining but also aligns with the sustainability principles of the electric vehicle industry. Ensuring a sustainable future for the electric vehicle sector requires increased investment in research and development, including seeking alternatives to rare earth metals for battery manufacturing. While innovations may take time to reach large-scale production, they offer a hopeful path to reducing the sector's vulnerability to supply chain disruptions. For example, research is being conducted on new magnetic materials that require less or no rare earth elements. Additionally, advancements in battery technologies, such as solid-state batteries, could reduce dependence on certain rare metals, like cobalt. Cooperation between nations and companies is crucial for overcoming the challenges posed by the Chinese embargo on rare earth metals. Governments and stakeholders must join forces to establish a stronger and more diverse supply chain. International agreements and alliances can ensure access to these essential metals, mitigating the risk of geopolitical manipulations. Encouraging innovation and knowledge sharing among countries can accelerate the creation of alternatives and new recycling technologies. By pooling resources and expertise, the international community can address the challenges related to China's dominance in the market for these metals. The recent Chinese embargo has caused significant concern in the electric vehicle sector, raising questions about its sustainability and future expansion. The dependence on Chinese metals leaves the sector vulnerable to disruptions, price increases, and potential geopolitical pressures. However, this situation also presents an opportunity to diversify supply chains, invest in research and development, and explore alternative materials and recycling technologies. International partnerships and collaborations will be essential for overcoming these obstacles and ensuring the long-term success of the electric vehicle sector. Despite the uncertainties ahead, the global commitment to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and transitioning to electric vehicles remains strong. The resilience and adaptability of the sector will be key to overcoming the challenges posed by the Chinese embargo on rare earth metals and moving towards a greener future. What are your thoughts on China's new embargoes? Share your opinion here and don't forget to see what others are saying about it too.